So we're starting with Battle, Battle Course 3. This match will still be um, first five, um, but all subsequent matches after this round are going to be first of seven. And over on twitch.tv forward slash Jarmu, we have um, J versus Jarmu just started as well. So I'm going to post a link to that in the chat. Nice red shell there from, from Patrick. It's our red combo, but dodged. So is this the uh, first track of this match? Yes, first track. They've just they've just started. It's like they're going uh, face to face, toe to toe. Trade, yes. Interesting trades. So have you got uh, the curry on a slow simmer, Mal? Oh. No, it's going through the microwave. Uh, ah. It's just uh, reheating stuff up. That's fine. That's nice. uh, a good start for battery. Very good start. But at no point can we count um, Mario out because he was 4-0 down against KVD and brought it back all the way to 4-4. I, I would make Mario most definitely the favourite in this match. Yeah. Yep. Even even if Patrick gets 2 0 up, I would still probably still put Mario as the favourite. I think any more than that, and then you suddenly start after really thinking that Patrick's got a good shot. I think the one thing that Mario seems to be missing is the precision on some of these green shots. Yeah. It's kind of at times he just goes, it's, it's like a fire and hope. Star banana combo. <laughs> Overshot the banana. Well, if you've got a star, you're going to overshoot it probably by about three arenas. <laughs> It looks like Mario is trying to trap somebody who he thinks is following him, but Patrick's just not following him. No. Ooh. Very nice shot. That was a lovely shot by Pat Patrick there. Fun and games of battle mode. Oh, yes. Um, Jarmu has just taken a 1 0 lead against Jay. Food's telling me it's done. Yeah, it just stopped for me there a moment ago. Red v red battle here, one lane apart. Look like Patrick got himself caught out by his own caginess there. level one
Hello. Hello, Zarkov. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. How are you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. Hear you maybe <laughs> once instead of twice. <laughs> so we're one-one now. What uh, what match is this? This is like uh, the losers' quarter-final, isn't it? Um, in effect, the losers' quarter-final. Yeah. Well. Right. Yeah. Nice. Quarters to ten. The two winners. So what's that? Two 0 to Mario. The winner of this match will face the winner of Jarmu and Jay. Um, and then Dale. Face the loser of KVD versus Lepungo. Right, gotcha. So as more matches come in, it'll get less complicated. <laughs> yeah, I know that's the thing with this whole uh, double elimination. I know it's a, uh, it, it is something you can uh, you can follow along, but to my small brain, I struggle with it. <laughs> <laughs> to me, oh, look at that, that red! Unbelievable dodge. Very nicely done. That was that, you know, that was what you could call hop and hope. <laughs> Just die for a wall. You got the. Uh, no, right, he's, he's lost his red there. You got Patrick hunting him down. It's a good hit. That's Very nice. nice hit. Where's that green going? Green. Oh, oh a pass. Is it it in close enough. Oh, having a little dance. That's a waste of a red from uh, Mario, if you ask me. Oof, nice dodge. Pardon me? <laughs> oh. We sneeze. Um, it's Jarmu and Jay has gone level at 1-0. Nice. That's a, that's a tough match. Yeah, that's... Get it up. It's a tough match to call, all right? Yeah, that's... I think I'd be leaning towards Jay on that one, but Sophie's been playing very well. Sophie's so. played. Sophie has played absolutely excellent all the way through um, battle mode. Yeah, she just improves sort of year on year. Yeah, that's when, when when you live with uh, a four-time world champion. But uh... yeah, when I played um, Sophie earlier on this year in Paris, it was a very very tough match. I, I mean, I barely escaped with a draw. Yeah. Against, uh, I was delighted with that. Oof, random green. Two two. Duh, duh. So this is is this first to six? First to five. First to five. Yeah, and then as I was saying, all subsequent matches after this will be um first to seven. Right, gotcha. Patrick with his uh Usual slow play style. Yeah. Mario played quite fast as well. That was a lovely red by Patrick there, though. Lovely loop and the red just loop back beautiful from. As Dave says, um, sort of going in this outside lane, it's almost a free red. Oh, oh that's an even better red. Can he finish the deal? No, he's too low. Uh, he wisely backed out of um, shooting that red. Yeah, when you're in that middle lane, firing out to that outside lane, it's uh, it's a natural angle. It follows. It's uh, yeah. If you get caught there, it's very difficult to dodge. That's a good red. Or oh, the ice cube saves it. Yeah. Go for some Nana Ridge. Finish him with a green. Go on. Oh! <laughs> and there it is. Different red. Different green. green. Different yeah. Person, yeah. <laughs> if Patrick were to win this one, it would be somewhat of an upset, I think. Because Mario 86... He knows he knows how to play battle. He isn't one of the best, but he is he's a pretty good player. He frequently hit the quarterfinals at the CDM. Yeah, well, Patrick is is very useful at battle. Now I will be be honest. Patrick is dragging Mario down into a a slow drawn out. I'm waiting for mistakes to be made. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. Oh, he's picked up another round of green. I just said, I just as I said, once those random greens are going around and Patrick's playing KG, you can you can easily find yourself in trouble. I feel I feel with Patrick, you have to go after him. You've really yeah. got to start sort of yeah. putting him under pressure a lot, rather than just letting him play his game. He's going to keep that. That's a free hit, isn't it? Yeah. No. Oof. Survived. 
any other character there and he would have been um, he would have lost the balloon. <laughs> just nice stand little, just stand off here. <laughs> I mean in, in close quarters, uh he didn't get way far enough there. Uh, you've just got to bolt as soon as you can really when this happens. <laughs> I love this when this happens. If only you could fire red shells backwards. <laughs> <laughs> For anyone who's like uninitiated watching this, it, reds don't automatically sort of loop round and hit like they do in the newer games. So like they've got a real defined arc, and you just can't hit something behind you. You've really got to line them up. Cold and calculated by by Patrick. It's, it's quite fun to watch, I have to say. Yeah, he's really he's really got Mario on the ropes here. I don't think Mario really knows how to deal with him. Mister with the red there. Yeah. Oh, that's a free hit. No. No. Because Patrick just stayed so close to him. Yeah, that is the. Uh, it's very hard to hit with a red close, especially when you're stationary. I mean, it's at that point. If I was in Mario's position there after seeing that happen so many times, I just with a red like that, I just break contact completely. Yeah, you just got run away. <laughs> and try and and try and flick back towards him. Yeah, that's the thing with these reds. It's that they come out at the the speed that you're going, so they fire out really slow, and they. You know, they, they don't hunt down your opponent very quickly if you're not going very quickly. So if you're travelling fast, they really whip. But, oh, that's enough of a close one. They were two very opportune reds there. Yeah. He's got the combo. No, it doesn't pick up the red, though. I mean, especially with the, with the difference in character there. Yeah. Um, you know, the faster acceleration of, of Yoshi. Yeah, I am certainly... Able to or a, a bit better. I'm certainly thinking of leaning into changing to Yoshi or Princess because that quick acceleration does get you out of them close quarter battles if yep. you need to. But yeah, usually I'll go for Toad or uh, Toad or Cooper. I had actually been practicing um, something completely different for this for this competition. What you've been doing? Using Donkey Kong? <laughs> Um, no, but I've been using either Mario or Luigi against uh, a Koopa or a Toad player. Right, okay. Fair enough. Give up, oh, <laughs> give up a little bit of, of the maneuverability and the acceleration just to have the speed advantage. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice payload and he hits it back with a payload as well. Beautiful. Lovely. Anyone who doesn't know what that payload is, if, if at the frame the item is about to hit you, you hop and fire another item, you can jump right through it. Uh, and that's what Patrick did there. This is coming down now to a huge point now. I think if Patrick were to win this match, uh, win this round, it's he is the favourite for the match, you'd have to say. Oh, what's he doing? He's looping back he round. Just, he just came straight around. It's he's, he's taken that phrase, keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. <laughs> extremes. For me, when, when someone's got a star, I'm just trying to get to the other side of the map um, or as far away from them as possible, really. It's the thing with, with this, with course four, though, is uh, having a star is sort of the least effective because some of the others you can really make some ground across the across the track really quickly and keep someone well under pressure. That could hit, that could hit, that oh, hit. There it is. Oh, to Patrick. Match point. Midlife crisis, Wessels, the bandana and the long hair. Now the the thing is here, this is a an okay arena for Mario to um, try and recover on. Yeah, Battle Course One is a fast, fast course. Oh, so oh, that was a beautiful, that was it a was. beautiful coral and red there by Patrick. But yeah, Battle Course One is the one sort of arena where. A drive or playing slow doesn't really sort of benefit you very much. You've got to be quite quick on this one because it is so open. Actually, I'm going to stick the house, the car, everything on Patrick win this because I think Mario wants to watch the um, the Leon Champions League match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That is a subplot I hadn't considered. <laughs> Patrick always dicing with shelfy, these shelfy greens whenever he fires them. He's got the star, he's got the red. Oh, Mario was in the middle then. Oh, Mario was very close to going into an absolute dragon's den of greens. Yeah. All right, we're going to see some conversation soon. Uh, this is where the sort of the uh, trying to maneuver into position comes into play. Yeah. Mario going through a lot of random greens. He had to. He's <sighs> Patrick just fired that way too early. That yeah. hip. That... Oh, that's a great and, red. Yeah, a great red, but nearly popped him into the green as well. Yeah, I thought. I think the NTSC it would have uh, would have been game over because it's pal. Yeah, because you can, can get two aim. hits so quickly, yeah. So, so this is... Mario's on the ropes now. One balloon. There it's it is. Over. GG's. Go on, Patrick. <laughs> Great match. Dominant display from Patrick, really, actually. Yeah.